Hey guys, how's it going? Another episode of my Barrow series. So, um, I'll just start it up. Uh, Varix Tunnel, not bad, not bad. Well, I think this episode I'm going to be talking about my guides I am going to be making in the next few days, weeks. I don't know, probably weeks. But, the first guide I'd like to make is, um, see what I can make. Uh, the first guide probably would be like a, a smithing or an herbler guide because I think they would be fun to make and uh, not many people know about them and their methods and whatnot. Well maybe. I'll, I'll use like the cool methods you know to be a cool kid. And uh, Slayer that's pretty straightforward. Uh, farming I'm definitely gonna make a farming guide one of these times and it will be epic. So, yeah, it's gonna be great. Well, so far, like right now, I've just been making my 4,300 maple longbows that I still need for 70 mage, and I have them all cut into unfinished bows, and I have like 6,000 bow strings. But I said hell with it and uh, bought more flax, so I can get 61 crafting that I need for lunars, which. That's a pretty good achievement to get, you know. Um, that means I could do NPC contact. I could do um, fertile soil when I get higher mage. Like, I need 83 for fertile soil. And if you don't... Really? Okay. Well, if you don't know what that is, that that spell makes it... So if you use it on a crop, any crop, it automatically makes it so it was... Um, it makes it so it's just like putting super compost on it. So that means I would never really have to make super compost ever again. I would probably still make it for money though because it's actually really easy, fast money. Like I showed in my guide a few days ago. Well, so I'm going to be doing that. And that would be, be pretty insane to do farming that easily with just a few runes in my inventory. So um, that would be pretty cool to get. And um, <clears throat> so once I finish all my bows, I'll go elk them while I go buy seeds in like a bank or something. That's what I usually do when I go elking. And that way I get a bunch of seeds that I want. I think right now I'm stocking up on on uh, dwarf weed seeds. Well, I didn't even dig. That's kind of that's kind of stupid. Well, I am stocking up on dwarf dwarf weed seeds and because they're actually pretty cheap right now and the herb is like half the seed price right now, so that's pretty insane well that's yeah so um, I calculated if I do dwarf feed dwarf okay I'll just say dwarf if I do dwarf seeds um, I'll I'll profit like triple what I invest and that was pretty sad I didn't even put on my prayer but whatever I'll triple my investments which um, I think I'm gonna invest around three mil into those seeds so I can get about 200 250 if I get lucky on my on my sale or purchases Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm hitting 16s? I thought the max with this was 15. Alright, that, that's pretty cool. So, uh, whatever. Yeah, so I'm going to do that and get like 300 seeds. And that will take about probably a week or two to farm all of that. But I will triple, triple my money, which would turn 3 mil into 9 mil. Which, that's insane. Like, to think that... I don't know if I told you guys this, but... I was really low farming, probably like 35. I mean, that's probably still high for you get kind of get oh, uh, for you people that don't have high farming. And I went to the wrong tunnel, so that's pretty nice. Well, um, I had like 35 farming or whatever. I could grow Renars, and back then, not many people had the the level for Renars. And then again, um, prayer potions were not that expensive. They were like 3k, 3 or 4k at the time. So the herb was about two, uh, 3k around 3k and uh, the seed was like literally 6k to 10k so you could profit like immense amounts and that's what I did so I literally spent my bank that was like 30k at the time it was very bad I spent my whole bank on four Renar seeds well I mean I still had money on top of that but like I spent a bunch of money on four Renar seeds and I literally did I started with that and now I consider me starting with that to like now and I have like a 10 mil 11 mil bank depending on the f prices that fluctuate every five seconds so yeah you can make 
you can make a really good living on farming. It's pretty, it's pretty sexy. Just seeing all those seeds in your inventory and your bank and uh, so snapdragons are going down and uh, that's what I primarily farm. I think I've farmed that since 63 farming so I've done it for so many levels. I think I probably have farmed at least 2,000, 3,000, maybe even more snapdragons in total. Like the herbs, not the seeds. That would be just insane. Well, so they're going up. Like the seed is going up and the herb is 7k, like Six, uh, 6,900, 7k, that's around where it is steady, so I've, uh, the seeds have been going up, so I had, I had to up my buying price by like 4k, and if you think about it, I mean, if you just look at it like that, it's not like a huge chunk that I'm losing, but you gotta understand, I buy like, I buy like 100 seeds at a time, well not 100, but like, I have a hundred at my point at my bank right now. So if I bought those for twenty K like I used to, that'd only be two mil, but now I have to spend two point four mil on it. Which that actually um that that actually digs into the profit pretty pretty well. So I I sold my last batch of Snapdragons that I had like three hundred almost for like seventy one hundred, which is the highest I've ever sold them. Which that that um felt pretty good. And uh so I, I'm going to do that, do snapdragons and kelquats and pineapples until 79 farming. And then I can do the dwarf seeds that I have in my bank right now. I think I've stocked up to 40. And when I go elking, I'm going to prob probably buy 100, 150 more because that's how much I can afford right now. And then when I get more snapdragons, I'll just buy more and more and more and more. So that's fun. So this, this commentary has just been about farming, so... If you guys don't like farming, this is not the commentary for you. And I am suck. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop attacking me. You stupid rat. Oh my god. Yeah. Took long enough. Like, I think I've been taking too much food, because I've used three food on this entire trip. I mean, I haven't done Varix, but. What expect? I'm just too good. Too good for this. Should put on my shield so I don't like blow up. Come on, I am feeling a guffin spear this trip. I am just feeling it. I think the the RuneScape gods have been talking to me in my sleep. They're like, "Go to Barrows, you will get a guffin spear." And if you don't go to Barrows, you'll pick up a guffin spear from a dead guy. I don't know. I think I'm just I dream in guffin spears. That's what I would dream in. Wow, he actually hits pretty good through Mystic. Well, Mystic has no defense, but still. I mean, I have 62 defense. That's like... I, that's like better than everything that I've ever seen. So I don't know what's wrong with this coding. God, Jagex, you suck. <clears throat> I just can't wait until I can um, convert to like Closet Guthix, because Slayer Dart is pissing me off. It, it doesn't hit as well as I it should. So, okay, let's see the chest. Come on, Guthin Spear. Oh. Oh. Oh, 2,500 coins. Wow, that's like, that's like one-tenth of a seed. Damn, they really want me to get 99 farming, don't they? Well, I'll, I'll see you guys later.